Hello engineers, welcome back. Our next video on the Vingiri basics is EVCU exhaust valve control unit. The exhaust valve control unit is connected to the servo oil drive which I explained in my rail unit video. This EVCU also receives a main lube oil pressure at 5 bar which is a makeup oil for the exhaust valve. So since since this is a closed loop, so since this is a closed loop from this EVCU to the exhaust valve, engineers you may you may ask one question why they have given the makeup oil. So engineers are same like in man BW engines, there is some controlled loop oil leak from this high pressure line to the exhaust valve, which is used to lubricate the air, pist air pistons and the spindle guides. So I will explain this part in the when I when I explain you in the exhaust valve. The EVCU contains one rail valve. This rail valve gets 200, two, the rail valve gets 200 bar servo oil pressure through the filter. The EVCU has one sliding rod and one piston. So engineers, the piston has, the, the, at the center of the piston, there is hole. From the, the hole is connected, at, at the center of the piston, there is one hole. From that hole is connected to the bottom of the piston. So when the rail valve actuates, the servo oil, when the rail valve actuates, the servo oil, the servo oil will go, the servo oil at 200 bar pressure will go to the sliding rod. This will pushes the sliding rod up. The servo oil will enter like this and pushes the slide and pushes the sliding rod up. The servo oil will go to the piston. The piston, I already said the piston has hole at the center. So from the hole, it goes bottom of the piston. So from here, it pushes the it, it pushes the piston up. So from here it pushes the piston up. So here we have main in, main lube oil at 5 bar pressure. Once the piston pushes up, the oil the oil which are present here get pressurized and this will open the exhaust valve. So from here it will open the exhaust valve. So engineers to summarize. This is the EVCU. This is connected to the rail unit. This is connected to the servo oil rail unit, which I explained earlier. This EVCU contains one rail valve, one sliding, one sliding rod on the piston. The piston is the cent The piston has the center. The piston has one hole at the center. That hole is that hole is connected to the bottom of the piston. So when the rail valve actuates, that uh, servo oil, that uh, servo oil pressure of 200 bar passes through this rail valve through the filter. From there it goes to this sliding rod. This this will push the sliding rod up and the servo oil will enter to the piston. So the piston has this will enter the servo oil will enter to the piston from the hole at the center. The, the oil will go to the bottom of the pistons. From here it will pressurize and pushes the piston up. So once the piston once the once the piston pushes up, this this is where the lube oil present. This is where the main engine lube oil at five five bar presents. This will actuate the, this is get pressurized and this will actuate the exhaust valve. After the exhaust valve opens, the rail valve will get signal from the EVCU to close the exhaust valve. So this rail valve will actuate and whatever the pressure, whatever the pressure which was present below this sliding rod will be drained through this. This is a servo oil drain, will be drained like this. So this will be, be with the help of the one, this, uh, this is also aided, aided by the spring. This will the sliding rod will push down. So whatever the oil, whatever the oil pressure which is present here, in the piston it will drain like this. So engineers, I hope you must have understand this one. This is the EVCU for 6 RT Flex 50 DF. So engineers, you must have noticed one thing here: the servo oil which is required to operate the piston comes to this rail, comes through the rail wall only. The servo oil is the servo oil will go to this rail wall. From the rail wall, it goes to the sliding rod. From the sliding rod, it goes to this piston. When the engine size increases, the rail unit is is the rail unit is separated from this EVCU. The rail unit is only the only used to operate the sliding rod. So there is one more line of 200 bar pressure which is connected directly to the servo oil drive. From the once the sliding rod operates. The 200 bar pressure, 200 bar pressure from the servo oil drive passes directly to the piston. So, engineers, I will explain this in the diagram which I have, so you, so that you will understand better.
the engineer the diagram i have shown is a evcu hydraulic function wall control unit hydraulic function which contains solenoid wall sliding rod piston and exhaust wall the solenoid wall is also called the rail wall the sliding rod and piston which is present inside the evcu as i explained in my board the exhaust wall is present in the cylinder so engineers you can you can see here the servo oil is the servo oil at 200 bar pressure is goes to the solenoid wall or the rail wall and at the same time it goes to the sliding rod also from the sliding rod it will it will go straight to the piston when the solenoid wall receives open command from the control unit the sliding rod moves up under 200 200 bar pressure from the servo oil rail is act, is is acted below the piston which moves the piston up and which which opens the exhaust wall when the solenoid wall receives close command from the control unit the sliding rod moves down and because of the spring air pressure it pushes the piston down and the servo oil drains so engineers i hope you understand what is evcu and how it works and how the exhaust wall is opens and closes if you found this video is good and useful please share and subscribe thank you engineers for watching